Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn how to make stopwatch in Visual Basics. So let's get started. First, you know there are four time units in a stopwatch: millisecond, second, minute, and hour. So we'll so what I have done here, I have just created four labels here. This is this will be our millisecond so i will name it as m l this will be our second so i will name it as s this will be our minute so i will rename it as m and this will be our r so i will write it as h so the name of this four labels i have just created four labels you can create from this drop down menu here this is our label and here i have created three command button first is start second is pause third is exit this is to start the timer this is to pause the timer and this is to exit the so what you have to do now you have to use this timer timer control and we will not set anything in property we will do everything in our coding so what we will do first on the click of the start so i will eliminate this on the click of the command one what we will do is you can see the name of the timer is timer one we will name it as tm and now on the coding we will write timer tm because the name of the timer and we will enable it and set the property to true and then we have to set the interval so what we will do we will set the interval and we will set the interval to one because interval is set to one millisecond and now what and when the pause button is pressed we have to set the enable property to false and now you have to double click on the timer control and in the timer event we will write our condition we will write our coding in the tm.timer event and you have to double click this and now in this first we have to set the millisecond so it was ml and the ml.caption will change ml dot caption is ml dot caption plus one now we will write our condition every time the caption will be set will be increased one second so now we will write the condition when if the ml dot caption means our second will become 60 so you know the a second is of 60 milliseconds so it becomes 60 then what we have to do we have to set our second dot caption is equal to l dot caption plus one so it is our second dot caption and we have when our second is set to one the millisecond will set to zero again so we will write ml ml dot caption is equal to zero and now what we will do when our seconds will become 60 the minute should be one so minute for the second is s dot caption equals to 60 then the minute so m m dot caption is will become m dot caption plus one m dot caption plus one and when m dot with caption means our minute becomes one the second should be set to zero again so the s dot caption will become zero and now what we will do when the 60 will become six, 60 minutes the r should be increased by one so we'll write a condition if the minute dot caption equals to 60 then minute dot caption is equal to 60 then the r dot caption should be increased by one so h dot caption s dot caption plus one and when an r is set to one the minute should be set to zero again so m dot so m dot caption equals to zero now we can close it you can see there are three ifs so we'll write and if there will be an error in this program and i will tell you what this will be it will be possibly type mismatch error and i will tell you how to rectify that so we have written our command one dot click and timer and you can see i have named this button command so on this we have written this enable is equal to two and interval is set to one on the pause we will have written timer one dot enable is equal to false so this will stop the timer and on the exit what we will do we will just write unload me and this will close this form 
so now we will run the program there is an error which will be type mismatch error as you can see type mismatch error and how to debug this because the caption control takes text as input means it does not take integer value so we have to convert that in integer value and to convert you have to write well so now it will be taken as value and you have to write everywhere where we have written is equal to so well again close it here and on the minute r we will write the same well and close it here and on the r we will write well and close it here now we will run the program press the start as you can see when this will become 60 this has become this is increasing one by one and when this will become 60 the minute will become one so what you can do you can either set this to lower i will set it to 10 so that we can see whether everything is working fine or not 10 and i will write this as 10 also and when we run the program and press the start button you can see on every 10 this is increasing by 1 and on every 10 this is increasing by 1 so when millisecond becomes 10 the minute is 1 and it is set to 0 again then it is become 2 3 and it when it has completed 10 times then it will become 1 and the same thing goes on this is a r minutes you can label it if you want we will take more labels so we will write just an r here we will write minutes here we will write seconds and here our millisecond if you are wondering why this l is there i have mistake now we will run the program again now we can see when you start the millisecond is increasing this will result into increasing of second which result into increasing of minutes and this will increase the hours when it will become 10 the r will become 1 and so on this is how you can create a stopwatch by using the concept of a timer if you like the video please leave a like if you have any suggestion query or comment please leave that in the comment box thank you